You've heard from our gubernatorial candidates. What do you think so far? Let's get some energy in this room. Come on now. Do you want to see a Democrat in the governor's mansion in November? Then let's give it up for these Republican candidates for governor. And now we're going to introduce the candidates for lieutenant governor. And, uh, and first up is a gentleman who has been, and I want to make sure I got it right, but you were the state party chair at one time. Uh, Matt Pinnell has been uh, working the state, working it hard, as have all these candidates. And uh, his name was drawn first, and so we're going to hear from Matt Pinnell, candidate for lieutenant governor. Please give him a big round of applause as he comes up to introduce himself. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate you. Well, thank you all. Who's ready for June? You better be ready for June. The election is in June. That's why you should be excited for June. I know we're all excited for June. Uh, well, thank you all uh, for coming out on a Saturday. I am Matt Pinnell. I am running to be your salesman for the state of Oklahoma in the position of Lieutenant Governor. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm a small business owner. I'm a proud Oklahoman. And I have a record of conservative success in this state and nationally because of a lot of people sitting in chairs right here. You all know me, we rebuilt this state party together. And when we did, we started electing a lot of the people that are in this room were elected through that process. And now I want to help you and help this state rebuild this state through the position of Lieutenant Governor. And let me tell you a little bit about it. It does not matter how many taxes you raise or programs you cut down at that state capitol. If we are not creating jobs, private sector jobs in this state, then we're going to continue to be on a roller coaster down at that state capitol. And we've got to be able to sell. That's the job. That's the job of the lieutenant governor, the economic development director for this state. And every day, my wife and I sell. So we live in the Tulsa area. we got a big warehouse in South Tulsa where we ship out our baby products. We're inventors. We're entrepreneurs. A few years ago, we invented some baby products. I remember packaging these up in our kitchen, from the kitchen to the living room, living room to the garage. We now have a big warehouse, like I said, in Bixby. And we ship our products all over the world. And so I wake up every morning with my wife asking ourselves, where are we selling today? Where are we selling today to put food on the table? every day and we've got to be doing that in this state we've got to have a better brand to have a better brand we've got to fix some things down at the state capitol because we have got to have some more private sector jobs in this state there was a candidate in this state 17 years ago that would crisscross this state and he said our greatest export is not wheat oil or gas it's our kids if you remember that race that was a governor's race 17 years ago you fast forward 17 years later, it's far worse today. We have four kids that are growing up in this state. I know you all have kids and you all have grandkids. We all care about the next generation. I want to be a next generation candidate for you to help fix this thing. Because I got four kids that are growing up in this state. I want them to be proud of this state. If they're proud of this state and we diversify this economy, which we better do, and close a skills gap that we have in this state, which is a crisis, then my kids are going to grow up here. They're going to be proud to be Oklahomans. They're going to be able to find a job and raise their own families here. Every day I'll fight for you in that. And the, that is the lieutenant governor's job. So if you want to sell, you better vote Pinnell. So thank you all very much. My booth is right over there. Come and see me. Thank you, Matt. Great, great sales job. Perfect. And it, I might uh, just ask the room, I know that everybody's meeting candidates. If I could just get your attention for a second. I know everybody's meeting candidates and, and you're, you're talking, but we've also got our candidates up here speaking. So if you could just kind of keep it down a little bit so that uh, so these candidates can be heard. And Matt's saying, why didn't you ask that before I came up here? <laughs> Yeah, well, he's, yeah, people are used to me yelling, but uh, anyway, next up I'd like to introduce a lady who has served our state well in the Corporation Commission. She also wants to be the next Lieutenant Governor. Uh, please welcome Dana Murphy.
trouble with the numbers, but we'll roll with that. Yeah. If we want something different, we have to do something different. And I'm running for lieutenant governor because I'm ready to do something different. I'm a fifth generation Oklahoman, born into a farming and ranching family from northwest Oklahoma. Some of the land that my family still ranches on is land where my grandma grew up in a Saudi house. I've lived in Edmond for 25 years. I've transitioned between rural and urban Oklahoma my entire life. I received my geology degree from Oklahoma State University. I have practiced as a geologist and had my own geology consulting firm. I received my law degree by working during the day and going to law school at night. I've had my own private law firm. I've worked for other companies and I've worked for myself. I have experience and the majority of my experience is in the private sector. For the last almost 10 years, I've been your corporation commissioner, working on some of the most difficult issues facing the state. And I will tell you, if you think conservative Republicans all agree, they certainly don't. I see one of my colleagues out here, and he can probably tell you, we disagree on a regular basis, but what is something that we do? We collaborate and work together on solving some of the most difficult problems that are facing this state. And what have been some of the most difficult problems that the Corporation Commission has dealt with? You know it well. Earthquakes. The very first actions that the Corporation took in March of 2015, three years ago, was reductions and shut-ins on disposal wells to help deal with the earthquake problem. And we've made great progress, but we still have a way to go. And that's part of what we need to be working on. The problems we have in the state didn't come up overnight, just like the earthquakes didn't come up overnight. But we've worked together to make progress. Did you know, how about some great news? We have among the lowest electricity prices in the nation. And if you want to talk about expansion of business or bringing new business here, low power prices are a key component of that. I want to help move the lieutenant governor's office beyond its traditional role, and most of you probably don't even know what the lieutenant governor does. It has constitutional and statutory responsibilities. Under the Constitution, you serve in place of the governor when the governor's absent. You serve on the commissioners of the land office. You serve as president of the Senate to have a casting vote, and casting vote means to break a tie vote. You also serve on the board of equalization, which helps certify revenues to make the budget. Statutorily, you serve as a tourism chairman on that particular board. You serve on archives and records and numerous other boards and commissions. I'm chairman of the Corporation Commission now. I've served on the Southwest Power Pool and represented Oklahoma in the region on the Regional State Committee. I am the first Oklahoman that's ever been selected as the ambassador for this state to serve on the Electric Power Research Institute Advisory Board. I'm ready to work with others and partner with whomever you elect as governor and whomever you elect in all these other positions as well as other leaders to get in and tackle the roots of the problems instead of treating the symptoms that continue to occur year after year. You have choices in this race. This is about a choice with real experience working on real problems for real results. And that's my commitment to you. This is about the wisest choice. If you are looking for a proven leader who has shown they can work with others, who do things differently than they do, who think differently than they do, and come up with solutions and results, I'm your choice. I hope you'll go over to my booth and check out my materials. I've got bumper stickers. I've got Murphy mail if you want to sign up for that. You can find my website at DanaMurphy.com. You can see me on Facebook at Dana for OK. Proven leadership with real results is what I offer you. I appreciate being here today. Thank you. Next up, we've got a man that's a state senator, uh, a rancher. Um, I have a feeling you're from Osage County, so I heard this little rumor there. And uh, our next candidate for Lieutenant Governor is State Senator Eddie Fields. Eddie, welcome. Well, good morning. I'm Eddie Fields. I'm a third generation rancher, second generation Oklahoman. 
this lieutenant governor's race is not about me, it's not about my opponents, but it's about Oklahomans. Moving this state forward, we can't look back at the past, we gotta look to the future. And how do we do that? I've served in the state house for two, from 2008 to 2010, I've been a state senator from 2010 to presently. It's about relationships, it's about partnerships, pulling the state together. I'm just like everybody else in this room. I put my pants on one leg at a time. I served on the school board for 14 years. My wife is a fourth grade school teacher. Education is my top priority. How do we fund education in the classroom? How do we fund teacher pay raises? It has to be done, bar none. Moving the state forward. What's the one thing we have all in common in this room? Chase the American dream for our kids and our grandkids so they can go out and have a white two-story house with a white picket fence around it. How do we get there? How do we make sure we give our kids and our grandkids the keys to their future? It's about relationships, it's about partnerships. And have relationships, I've served in both the House and the Senate. I'm uniquely qualified to be your next Lieutenant Governor to move this state forward. To be able to work with those House members and those Senate members to come up with the solutions to the problems. I'm not gonna sit there and point and say, it's her fault or his fault or that party's fault or whoever's fault it is for the mess we're in, because that's looking in the rearview mirror. I wanna look forward, move this state forward. This is a great state. I'm proud to be an Oklahoman. We've done great things the last 10 years I've been in the legislature. You don't see that because the press covers all the bad stuff you wanna see, because that's what makes everybody else mad. We've done some really good things. We just gotta build on that foundation and keep moving it forward. I'm a conservative Oklahoman. I'm a rancher. I'm a father. I'm a husband. I've been married for 27 years. I care about this state. I care about this country. I care about our greatest asset in this state. It's our kids and our grandkids. Let's give them the keys to their future to move this state forward. That we can all be proud of our kids and our grandkids and be proud of the state of Oklahoma. I am Eddie Fields and I'm running for Lieutenant Governor. Thank you.